I want you to tune into. So you've just had a past life regression, and there was emotion, uh, emotion that was felt in a couple of places. So the first place that you felt all the emotion was when Suzette pulled the plug on the relationship, right? And during that time, you felt complete devastation. Didn't see it coming. Right. Complete devastation. So when you tune into that in your body now, where's that complete devastation <laughs> feeling? I guess it's the pit of my stomach. But I know, I don't know, I feel like punched. Mm -hmm. like yeah. The wind is knocked out of me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do that. Can't, can't speak. Tighten. Tighten the throat. Yeah, tighten in my throat and just like, yeah, yeah. sucker punched. Mm -hmm. Okay, even though I remember being in that lifetime. Even though I remember being in that lifetime. And I remember feeling like I was punched in the where, gut. Gut, yeah. Yeah, punched in the gut. Even though I remember feeling like I was punched in the gut. And like I couldn't speak. And like I couldn't speak. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all these feelings trapped in my body. And all these feelings trapped in my body. All the way back to the origin. All the way back to the origin. I want to dissolve them. I want to dissolve them. The top of the head. I want to dissolve this feeling. You do one hand. I want to dissolve this feeling. All the way back to its origin. All the way back to its origin. When I felt punched in the gut. When I felt punched in the gut. The wind knocked out of me. The wind knocked out of me. The life knocked out. The life knocked out of me. I can feel it in my throat. I can feel it in my throat. I can feel it in the pit of my stomach. I can feel it in the pit of my stomach. That feeling like I've had the wind knocked out of me. The feeling like I've had the wind knocked out of me. That devastated feeling. That devastated feeling. Still trapped in my body. Still trapped in my body. Related to that soul. Related to that soul. That soul in that lifetime. That soul in that lifetime. That soul in this lifetime. That soul in this lifetime. I want to dissolve any overflow. I want to dissolve any overflow. That's still in this lifetime. It's still in this lifetime. And dissolve it all the way back to that lifetime. And dissolve it all the way back to that lifetime. When I had the wind knocked out of me. When I had the wind knocked out of me. When I felt so devastated. When I felt so devastated. When Suzette pulled the plug. When Suzette pulled the plug. And I had no idea it was coming. And I had no idea it was coming. And there was no backup plan. And there was no backup plan. I had no backup plan. I had no backup plan. I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. My whole life was about My whole Suzette. Life was about Suzette. For nine years. For nine years. My whole life was about Suzette. My whole life was about Suzette. I had no backup plan. I had no backup plan. My all my emotions, all my emotions wrapped up in her, wrapped up in her. My whole life wrapped up in her. whole life wrapped up in her. My whole life gone. My whole life gone. When she pulled the plug, she pulled the plug. That feeling of being hit in the gut. That feeling of being hit in the gut. The life punched out of me. The life punched out of me. The wind knocked out of the me. Wind knocked there was nothing left. There was nothing left. My whole life was Suzette. My whole life was Suzette. I want to dissolve that feeling. I want to dissolve that feeling. All the way back to its origin. All the way back to its origin. All the way back to that lifetime. All the way back to that lifetime. Speaking to the multi-dimensional layers of my Akash. Speaking to the multi-dimensional layers of my Akash. Of my DNA. Of my DNA. I instruct my body to release it now. I instruct my body to release it now. To dissolve it all the way back to then. To dissolve it all the way back to then. All the way back to that lifetime. All the way back to that lifetime. When I felt completely devastated. When I felt completely devastated. Stepping back in time. Stepping back in time. Like a time traveller. Like a time traveller. Me now, all the way back to me then. Me now, all the way back to me then. Just before Suzette knocked the wind out of me. Just before Suzette knocked the wind out of me. Letting me, Jonathan, know. Letting me, Jonathan, know. From me now. From me now. That I'm your soul from the future. That I'm your soul from the, from the future. And I have a message for you. And I have a message for you. That everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And even when the unexpected happens. And even when the unexpected happens. You're not alone. You're not alone. Helping to connect him to his guides. Help, help him to connect to his guides. Help him connect to his guides. 
Letting him know he's not alone. Letting him know he's not alone. Letting him know that even though something's going to feel like a death. Letting him know that even though <laughs> something's going to feel like a death, there's no such thing as death. There's no such thing as death. Moving forward. Moving forward. To when Suzette pulls the plug. To when Suzette pulls the plug. Tapping on him to release all his anger. Tapping on him to release all his anger. The feeling that the wind's been knocked out of him. The feeling the wind's been knocked out of him. That devastated feeling. That devastated feeling. Letting him know he's going to be okay. Letting him know he's going to be okay. Letting him know he's never alone. Letting him know he's never alone. His guides are always there connected to him. His guides are always there connected to him. And he can call on me whenever he needs me. And he can call on me whenever he needs me. Letting him know. Letting him know. That he's going to be with that soul again in this life. That he's going to be with that soul again in this life. That that soul never really leaves. That soul never really leaves. Dissolving that devastated feeling. Dissolving that devastated feeling. Allowing him to feel connected. Allowing him to feel connected. Allowing him to feel loved. Allowing him to feel loved. Even though Suzette's pulled the pin. Even though Suzette's pulled the pin. Allowing him to feel connected. Allowing him to feel connected. Connecting him to his higher self. Connecting him to his higher self. Connecting him to me. Connecting him to me. Allowing him to feel what's going on in his future life. Allowing him to feel what's going on in his future life. In this lifetime, my lifetime. In this lifetime, my lifetime. Allowing him to see that he's connected once again with that soul. Allowing him to see that he's connected once again with that soul. Letting him release any anger. Letting him release any anger. Any devastated feeling. Any devastated feeling. As he takes that knowledge back with him. As he takes that knowledge back with him. All the way back. All the way back. Under the arm. Allowing him to feel love. Allowing him to feel love. Even when Suzette pulled the pin. Pulled the pin. Even when Suzette pulled the pin. So how does he feel now? Um, there was sort of a... Um, like I want to say smug, but that's a little more negative. But just like, um, there's this feeling. I'm like, I knew we would end up together. <laughs> I, I, I told her that she shouldn't have broken up with me. <laughs> it was almost Same. this like, yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that devastated feeling is not there. Right. Mm. Mm. Okay. So what about tuning in now to the other part when he died in the Korean War. Just tapping and tuning into that. Is there still that pissed off angry feeling or is that gone? Can't find it right now. Mm -hmm. I can get to, I can recall the explosion. Mm -hmm. And the death. And the death, but not. Yeah, the angry feeling's gone because we've changed the energy of it before that happened. Right. So see how it works in time, space, and place. We've changed the energy of his knowledge back then that it's not the end of the world. He's got that. I knew. I knew we'd end up together. <laughs> right. So he doesn't have that angry, pissed off feeling. Mm -mm. Can't find it. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you love how it works in time, space, and place. That's why it's quantum EFT. We're working in time, space, and place. Right. So when we go back and change something in another lifetime, even in that lifetime, we changed it for that lifetime. So there's none of that pattern coming through now into this lifetime. There was a lot of resistance on the first pass through when you would say, it's going to be okay. Yeah. So... We went through that, like, I don't know, two or three times. And mm -hmm. the first time, it was just like... Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but it came through in the end. Yeah, but can we check it? Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. just tap on that mm -hmm. for a second. Yeah. So the first time, so when um, you went back to see him just before Suzette pulled the pin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So stepping back in time to Jonathan. 
letting him know that you're him from the future. He might already recognize you. Mm -hmm. And letting him know that something's going to happen soon. And it's unexpected. And it might feel like a death. But it's going to be okay. How does that feel when you tell him it's going to be okay? That is fine. There's no resistance. There was disbelief, but there wasn't the same resistance. Like the first time we went through, it was like, yeah, but I'm going to die, so it's not going to be okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was. Mm. Cool. Cool. And when you change energy in time, space, and place in any any part of any lifetime, you change it then, it changes for all time. Huh. Yeah, that's very neat. Mm. Cool. Right on.